So welcome back. Um, we're talking about prisms and we are calculating now the volume of prisms, yeah, so the capacity of a prism. And how do you find the volume of a prism? Well, the volume is going to be the area of the cross section times the length. So I'm just going to write it down. The cross sectional area times the length. Now with the cross-sectional area, what do I mean with that? Well, as you know, a prism has two faces which are identical and uh, parallel. Eh? And hopefully you see now already that, well, I have this triangle and I have the same triangle there in the back. Yeah? We actually can't see it, but it's there. So what do I do to find the volume of a prism? I take the area of one of these, what we call cross-sections. So that is, in this case, um, uh, a triangle. So I take the area of that triangle, so that is base times height divided by 2m, 4 times 3 divided by 2, and I'm going to times that by the length. And the length is that distance between those two uh, similar ends. Uh, so the distance between this triangle and that triangle. So that in this case is 12. Okay, so the volume of my prism, 4 times 3, that is 12, divided by 2 times 12, so that is 6 times 12, and that will be 72 centimeters cubed. So for any um, prism where I have to calculate the volume for, I take the area of the cross section, yeah, in this case that is a triangle, but it could also be a square or a rectangle or anything else, yeah, perhaps a compounded figure. And I multiply that area of the cross section by the length. Yeah? And that length is the distance between those two similar ends. So if I would just grab this prism, what is the volume of it? Well, I identify my two similar ends, so those are those two, the hexagons. So I would take the area of one of those hexagons and I would multiply it by this length. Yeah, to get the volume. Because actually you have always done the same already. Look at this cube. How do you find the volume of a cube? Well then you would say, for instance, left, uh, length times width times the height. Yeah, you would multiply that you get the volume. Because length times width, that is the area of the cross section, times the height, which is the distance between those two similar faces. Okay, so try one or two more example questions about how to calculate the volume of prisms, area of the cross section, could be a triangle, could be a hexagon, could be a square, and you multiply that by the length, which is the distance between those two similar faces. I'll see you at the next question.